into TV birth. <laughs> Two, good news, Britain's Got Talent's back, yes. And fronted by Anton Dick. Do you know what, I can't decide who's my favorite. There's only one way to sort it out. Fight! <laughs> I love cartoons. Do we like cartoons? Well, I've not got a lot of time left, so here's a few of my favourite. Here we go. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Oh, Raggy, I know him. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Oh, Popeye, Popeye. OK, Oliver. G -g 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 I'm strong to the finish, cos I eat space spinach and Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> we're very, we're very we're quiet. I'm going to catch a wabbit. Yeah, we shot that. OK, but you sniveling hound. Catch that pigeon now. We're sitting the middle, Oh dear, we gotta catch the pigeon. We gotta catch the <laughs> pigeon. Oh, homie, homie, homie. You know I love you. Oh, wait a minute, but Marge, Marge, don't bite you now. Eat my blue, eat my shorts, me coo-hoo's and teddy dude. Hey, 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 hey. I can't just talk, Rusty the Clam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gulligan. That's all, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. I normally cannot bear these type of acts. Um, and when I heard the story about you being thrown off the club in Ken, and I'm thinking, you've got 3,000 people here, and I had a feeling if this went bad, this could bury you. And it was just incredible to see how much it meant to you when you got the, the reaction you got from the audience just there. Thank you, Simon, thank you. I just think after schlepping it around holiday camps for the past, I don't know, 25 years, that you haven't been found and that we have been able to find you. Well, thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. you are the best impressionist we've ever seen on Britain's Got Talent. Thank you very much. Okay, moment of truth. Here's yes or no. Massive yes. Thank you. Amanda? Um, I think you're going to go a long way in this competition. It's definitely a yes for me. Thank you very much, Amanda. Thank you. It's two yeses. Come on, it's got to be three. It's got to be three. Paul, you will be pleased to know you have got three gigantic yeses. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's what I want well, to Harry Hill. You went out there and you've knocked their socks off. Well done. Thank you, boys. Thanks. Well, I'm really pleased for you. How do you Not feel? Not half as pleased as I am. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds a bit you know, soft, guys, because it means so much. Yeah, yeah no, no. So long, tell me know. exactly how you feel. It doesn't and, sound um, soft. I understand. You know, I've got two children that I adore and they adore me, and I want them to be proud of their dad. See the next round. Absolutely. Really the best. Thank you very much. Well done. So Paul leaves one step closer to his dream, and it's the end of the auditions in Cardiff. Hey guys, So that's it from Cardiff, but the quest to find Britain's brightest new act goes on. We'll be back next weekend with more people hoping to prove Britain's Got Talent. See you then. Coming soon on Britain's Got Talent. I hope. <laughs> what was that? He's an absolute genius, the whole thing. For more information and exclusive audition videos, go to the website or download the Britain's Got Talent iPhone app. My ears are bleeding. All the details are at itv.com slash talent. You have the charisma of a coconut. 
Britain's Got Talent returns next weekend, where for one week only, we'll be with you on Sunday at 8 o'clock. Yes, that's Sunday at 8. Carry on, carry on. And as Anton Deck said, next week, Britain's Got Talent is moving to Sunday at 8, and that's to make way for the Champions League. Next tonight, has two finally got the upper hand over six? You can find out in The Prisoner.